Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi everybody! I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So, I've been having a lot of questions lately about how do I make my iPhone blend shapes very dynamic. I do have a tutorial on how to make them, but how do you make them dynamic? So, that's what I'll be answering in this video. So let's get started, shall we? Let's go ahead and switch views. So, this is here is Blender, and I will be showing you guys my model. And the reason why I decided to use my model as an example rather than a Roid model is because, well, first of all, my model has pretty much most of that dynamic feel that pretty much everybody wants. But also, uh, there are going to be some people who have like custom-made models that would kind of require more of a complicated setup. Now, I'm going to tell you right now before I continue, these blend shapes right here, there are some stuff I am still fixing with them. There are some bugs I have found out, but even then, they're just very minor. Um, but even then, let me just show you. So let me go ahead and move myself. Because uh, what you see here on VC Face, uh, this is the tracking. Um, as you can see, it's, you know, my, eye, my eyes dilate, there's tongue physics, and um, there's, you know, like, my mouth is moving a lot, so that's kind of basically, that's basically the goal that everybody wants to get. So how do we achieve it? Well, basically, there's a couple blend shapes we have to worry about. So let me go ahead and click on Blender and hide the armature, and then I'll click on my base model and I'll show you. So, on the right side, you should see a list of blend shapes. Now, basically, the blend shapes you have to look for, um, which I will scroll all the way down, it will be, hold on, it will be jaw open, so this is jaw open. Um, you also have to, if you want to go for a pog, so if you're trying to get like that pog face with your iPhone blend shapes only, you'll have to worry about the mouse funnel and try to like pucker those mouths, the lips up, so that way you can get that pog effect. You also have to worry about the four blend shapes. These are the main four blend shapes that make your mouth move more. It's the upper up left, upper up right, lower down left, and lower down right. Now do keep in mind, what you see in my mall here, it looks pretty ugly, um, so don't don't mind the fact that your model most likely will have a better looking one than this one. Um, but basically, these blend shapes here, these are what kind of makes... It's like the lip blend shapes, sort of. They help make the mouth move more. And um, with the jaw open, open jaw, um, with all the, you know, the four blend shapes and open jaw together, that's how it will make your mouth move more. So if you can get these four blend shapes here, at least like... Especially the lower down left and the mouth lower down right. If you can get those to be pretty big, you can actually have it where the mouth can move a lot. And also make sure you have um, a big jaw. But do keep in mind also by the fact that you can't have a too big of a jaw. Because that can actually cause some issues. You can have something called a monkey jaw. What do I mean by monkey jaw? This is mainly what I see with anime models, but basically the chin would just look very awkward looking. And it'll kind of give you the vibes of a chimpanzee. So don't make it too big. Try to be very moderate about it. And besides that, uh, those, are the, those are the blend shapes that will help open your mouth. And mouth funnel is the one that helps you with the pog. Um, definitely also care, um, you know, if you're trying to get like a very dynamic smile and frown, definitely always check the smile and the frown blend shapes. There's four of them. Two smile and two frowns. Um, they're not super duper important when having that dynamic feel because you want like the mouth to move more, but it still counts. All these blend shapes still matter. And if all of them are equally, you know, the best quality they can be, especially if you use sculpting and proportional tool ed to mix it together, you could do a lot of good stuff with this. Um, and definitely also, if you want your mouth to be pretty wide, like this, ah, uh, you will have to basically uh, stretch out the, the mouth. So, mouth stretch left and mouth stretch right. For mine, it does look pretty awkward, and I do kind of plan on remaking them, but they still do work though, and they were pretty good on making my mouth pretty big and dynamic. 
So that is something that I also focus on. Um, and other than that, other tips, so that's kind of like mainly the mouse part. On my iPhone blend shape tutorial, it does cover how to make your eyes more dynamic and stuff, but it doesn't really cover how to make your mouse dynamic. So definitely, these are kind of like my tips on making the mouse dynamic. Um, definitely check out the Apple blend, sh you know, the Apple developer website. They have references on how the blend shapes look like. If you need a 3D example, there are Roid models that have the Apple AR kit on Roid Hub. If you want a better example, you can also get the iFacial mocap face mesh. Um, you just have to download their uh, PC software on their website, and then there should be like some sort of folder or something. Uh, which will have like the head model and you can check the blend shapes and make it based off of that You can also download Polywinks um, Sample model which will show you the AR kit blend shapes as well, which is also a very good reference but other than that um, other tips to make your blend shapes in general more dynamic besides the mouse would be the eyes so basically for the eyes um, definitely add some sort of eye muscle effect because it can give a natural feel, but um, like it really depends on what you're aiming for, but if you just want to make the eyes more dynamic, definitely add some eye muscle effect. Usually on human models, the eye muscle tends to not be super much, but it's, it's like very subtle, but you know, the eye muscle effect on our eyes, you can literally look at a mirror and you can like, if, if you have a hard time seeing the eye, the eye muscle effect, just record yourself moving your eyes and um you should be able to like see your eyelid you know move a bit and that's what i mean by the eye muscle so you know basically um i just basically like moved it really like i said it really depends on what you're aiming for whether you want to be supernatural or very uh cartoonish like i'm not sure what style you're going for but this is just my model so do keep that in mind if you want more stuff mainly on your model, uh, this isn't specifically like iPhone blend shape, but if you want like more stuff like tongue physics, then you can go for tongue physics. Mainly the reason why people do tongue physics for their iPhone blend shapes is the fact that it's the when it comes to the tongue, there's only one tongue blend shape because iPhone does not have that full support for the entire tongue movement. So only the Vive Lip Tracker can do that, and I think Intel RealSense can do that as well. Um, so if you want full tongue movement, you could go for either. Vive Lip Tracker only works if you have a VR system, um, and then the Intel RealSense, um, I'm not sure, I don't have any information about that, but I do know for a fact it could do a lot of stuff, and I've seen some people use it on face rig. Um, but there is such thing as custom solution and you can probably set up in Unity if you have the knowledge. And if there's by any chance someone who did bought the uh, Vive Lip Tracker without the VR system and all that, I, I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't really know much about those two devices. All I know is that they have the full tongue tracking and they do have additional, you know, they do have their requirements for blend shapes and stuff. So definitely, um, if you are interested in full tongue movement, definitely buy those cameras instead. They're very pricey. And also, it's going to be much harder to set up due to the fact, especially the Intel RealSense, because there's not too much information. Vive Lip Tracker, there are some information, obviously, due to VR chat and stuff. So, you know, you take your pick, really. But for iPhone, you only have um, one tongue blend shape, which does this. Ugh. That's it. So the tongue physics definitely help out with making your tongue move, and it's also silly as well. Um, you could also add some eye physics if you really want, because I've seen some live 2D models have that eye physics effect. It's not as dynamic like live 2D. You could probably do that if you have a custom animation with VSF Avatar, but VRM alone um, it might be a little bit more trickier, and if you really want to emulate it, you probably might need to use the UV function on Mtune and probably make some custom textures and do a lot of crazy stuff with it. But other than that, though, um, the least you could do, um, what I did for my model was add simple eye highlight physics, but because they kept glitching through my eyeball a lot, I had to limit them so you can't really see them move a lot, but they do move. 
Um, but you could do a lot more than what I just did, though. Go crazy however you like. It really depends on your mall. Another uh, thing also is the fact, for my iPhone blend shapes, um, I did also uh, have the eyes dilate, dilate thing um, effect. I know a lot of people tend to really like that a lot, especially rather than hitting a hotkey to be shocked, um, you can just like be shocked with your own iPhone blend shape. So that's really convenient. And another effect I've also added was basically every time I blink, my eyebrows would go down. This is just a personal thing that I really like because um, it just gives some more movement to my face really. But you don't have to add that. But that's just my pick really. And that's kind of it really. You know, mess around with the blend shapes, you know, follow, you can follow, um, definitely check out my main tutorial that's one hour and 30 minutes shows you how to make all the blend shapes but this is just to as a reference to show you um how to make it dynamic and just some general tips really on making them pretty dynamic um but yeah other than that though if you do have any other questions on making your iphone blend shape pretty dynamic do let me know you know comment down i'll gladly answer your questions if you need a private tutor go to the description and only add um, by my name, please don't go to my server because that the server is mainly for those who are who want to be involved with my community. But um, you know, just pri you know, just add me as a friend on Discord, and I'll private tutor you if you really want that. Um, and that's kind of all I really have to say. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if I do find any other more information on making your models more dynamic and all that definitely I will make more tutorials about it but until then though um hope this helps you and yeah um well with that being said though hey 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 sign it up everyone see you guys next time bye